I couldn't even climb up there personally. Huh? <laughs> I couldn't even climb up there. It's <laughs> good. I am visually impaired and welcome to my channel welcome um so did I could you was that okay no it's not phew <laughs> um so this is a quick vlog and we're going to show how uh, we went out rock wall climbing over the weekend and then we also went to a red carpet event me I know me I know so went to a red carpet movie premiere and that was so much fun um if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and let other people tell three friends about this channel let's grow let's grow together guys if you have been around thank you so much for coming back and um don't forget to like comment share and and let other people know to subscribe. You too, you get homework. You too. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Rock wall climbing on Saturday. So we decided to take the kids on a rock wall climbing adventure type place. Um, it's not just a rock walls actually. They have just, it's a climbing center. It's called Rock Up. Um, they have lots of different, like, um, what are they called? obstacle courses for climbing and just it's a climbing center basically there's walls there's poles there's ropes there's all kinds of things um we did a rock paper scissors and obviously no i'm joking we didn't do that um, we basically decided that um daddy would be better off in there with the kids than me because i can't really um keep track of them so I stood on the outside, there's a fence, it's a fenced area and I stood on the outside of the fence. Um, it was a bit difficult to keep track of where everyone is but I eventually found them, uh, mostly because Nara's shoes were glowing so I was like, that must be her. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they started off on the easier section, the like um, beginner section. As you can see, Nara is really, really taking to it. Um, Kai, this is the second time he'd been there and he just, he's not a fan, climbing is not really his thing but he came anyway and wanted to keep trying and support his sister and just try again, keep going, which is good, resilience, woo! So just a heads up, I did keep all of the videos in just so you can see the progression in confidence and everything from the start to the finish as um, she grew in confidence and became more and more um, comfortable climbing up. If you do want to skip all the you know climbing stuff and just go straight to the premiere day that's good too you can go ahead and do that otherwise I did keep all the videos in with a bit of narration to kind of talk about um, her climbing experience. Hubby was so nervous initially, um, he was standing really close trying to help her with the, the, the strings, oh my gosh not the strings, the ropes as well. Um, before they get started they do get like a 30 minute induction video thing and they're asked questions and stuff just to make sure that they are competent enough to go onto the ropes and they know what to do um, and Nara seemed really confident like she understood the rules and again Malika had been there before so he knew what to do. As the video goes on, you see how her confidence grows and she keeps going on the more and more difficult ones. Um, the further left you go, the more difficult the climb is.
shortly after this, Kai just left the whole climbing thing alone and went to play in some soft play area and made some friends. <laughs> to go we booked an hour session which went by pretty fast for them um, for me it was a bit I don't know like I was starting to feel a little bit lonely on the sidelines <laughs> but um, yeah the kids had so much fun oh my gosh. all in all it was a lovely experience the kids really loved it and they want to be regular climbers they have a membership at that place so we're definitely going to look into it. Netflix red carpet premiere Monday. Good morning. Happy Monday. Let's do a little bit of put a finger down challenge, okay? Okay, cool. <laughs> Put a finger down if you knew the clocks were changing last night, so you thought you'd get to bed on time, but you didn't. I'll just, I'll just. Put a finger down if you stayed up late, right? And you waited until, you know, the clocks are changing. So then instead of having a super long sleep, you're just gonna have a super long day instead. Put my finger down. Put a finger down if the reason you were up very late was to do your nails and a couple other things But then you fell asleep before your nails were dry So then they all ended up getting smudged anyway I put all of my fingers down showing my nails to the camera <laughs> Well that's that then <laughs> Have a nice day <laughs> so beautiful hobby got them from his workplace you'd think they're mine right yeah i'm just gonna i should have pretended they're mine they're mine they're for me they're mine my flowers yeah so today's monday didn't mention this before um just come out of a quite a long weekend not long in terms of like we had a lot of time but long in terms of very busy <laughs> um first day back to school first day back to work for me because I've, I've been off for the time that the kids were off school but yeah, so something exciting today. I'm going to a special screening um, hosted by Netflix. And um, yeah, like I'm really excited. I've just had a half day of work. So I worked up until technically I was supposed to like log off at one. 
but I never do that. Like I literally never stick to the time. I always go over. So I was about two o'clock now, almost about two minutes to two o'clock, and um, that's when I've just locked off. I um, just managed to put everything away. So now I have a bunch of stuff to do in the house, including getting myself ready. First, I've got to clean up the kitchen, get put the dishes away. Secondly, I've got to prepare the kids' uniforms for tomorrow because obviously we're going to be out today and we're not going to to do that. Thirdly, I've got to make some lunch, dinner, some dinner, sorry. I've got to make them some dinner that they're going to have so that when they come back from school, they can just kind of start, continue with their routine as usual. And what's the other thing I've got to do? Well, I've got to get myself ready. Like, I've got to um, do my makeup, blah, 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 all those things. Just get myself a screening, going out, date night ready. <sighs> and it's two o'clock. I have to pick up the kids at three. So, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a mad one. But it's fine. It's all part of uh, a good life. Like, it's, it's good things happening. So I'm not actually complaining. I'm just wondering how I got myself into this. Like, how is life this busy? And tomorrow's a regular work day as well. So um, when I get back, I'll just literally gonna crash. And but I'm going to take you along with me for as much of the screening and the event as possible. Super excited. It's um, hosted by Netflix and the RNIB. So it's going to be like a show that's on Netflix. Sorry, it's a film. A film that's on Netflix and it's going to have audio description. My favourite. You guys need to sort that out for Love is Blind so I can fully enjoy it. But we'll talk about that another time. By the way, do you guys, would you be interested in like... I'm never going to ask you. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be doing, um, I know the season is over, we've had all the tea and everything, but um, if you watch Love is Blind, I'm really about to do like a review of the season, last season, and I might even just literally dig deeper and start from season one, because why not, right? Um, it's content. Keep you guys entertained, have it in the background, just me chatting away to you whilst you do whatever you need to do right <laughs> but yeah i think i'm gonna start doing that and i just need to get it to get <laughs> but yeah guys what do you think i've just done my hair not just i did my hair yesterday my mom did my hair to be specific um <laughs> and so we have something new we no longer have the pink tips um but we have i think a couple random blonde bits thrown in um which I like, it's something a bit different. The thing is, you, if you've been around here long enough, like you know, I don't usually have dark hair, but I'm actually getting used to this. I'm really getting used to this dark hair thing. Let's see how long it lasts though. Like I think I'm missing red hair, that might be the next step. Anyway, let me stop waffling and babbling. But um, yeah, let me know. Do you watch Love is Blind? Are you gonna be tuning in to my little, it's not, I'm not gonna talk at you for too long, I promise. Are you gonna be tuning in to my reviews or is there anything else you'd like me to talk about that's on TV, like, that I actually watch? <laughs> I'm joking, I'll watch it. I'll watch it and talk about it if you want me to. Um, but I think the thing for me about Love is Blind is obvious, obvious reasons. Like the whole concept of this show is that you're dating whilst um blind i guess like you don't see the person that you're dating you, you're forced to know the person deep down and dig deeper and i think that's a layer that a lot of people miss out on because they're so obsessed or they're so you know um stuck on how somebody looks and that's the first thing they see and a area of their brain closes off if somebody shows up with i don't know trousers that are up to their calves instead of full trousers or whatever or they're wearing pink and pink is not their favorite color so they're like mm, this person's not for me but in this situation you literally just have to speak to the person and you get to know them which is dating blindly right um so yeah i think the concept is super interesting so i'm going to talk about it because you know i love the show <laughs> um but yeah i'll see you in a bit let me just actually tidy up and stop waffling bye <laughs> I admit I meant to say, oh, not a picture. We made pumpkin pie for the first time ever. Are you excited to try it, Nara? Yeah! Yeah, all right, let's slice yeah. it up. Use uh, my phone usually, and it will convert the script audio. I will listen to it, and then I will repeat what I hear. 
and that's a lot going on at once <laughs> because not only are you listening and talking at the same time but you're also trying to say it clearly and you're also trying to sound natural and you're also trying to connect with what's actually happening on the screen um, at the same time all, all the while not being able to see what's happening on the screen of course. <laughs> um, Fern Lullum did the audio description for All the Light We Cannot See and she did an incredible job it was so inspiring to see all the different avenues that people like us who have visual impairments or disabilities can actually take. She was being interviewed by Ron Hall, who was a visually impaired contestant on Love Island, which again, so incredible to have representation on such a popular show. We've survived, we survived actually one of which is very, you know. Up and leave. First of all, I can't actually believe I got to go to a Netflix premiere. <laughs> this was my outfit of the day that I chose. It's a long denim dress and I'm wearing some just below the knee um, length boots. They do look and fit a bit like Doc Martens and that is precisely like it's so me. And I've got a bit of a dressy bag with it. This is me and Hannah, Blind Mom vs The World, and she's one of my favourite VI creators. We do know each other off online, and it was really nice to meet some of the people that we know um, in real life. It's, it's a different experience, it's so nice to see so many people from the community, seeing all the representation and actually being part of everything, just being in the room. Like, I just, I was so in awe, to the point that I forgot to film. Just so. <laughs> What's the last movie with the missus? So yeah, all in all, a wonderful yeah, night. Hang time. out with us while we wait for our Uber. It took ages, so obviously, obviously we just messed about outside. Uh, when I say we, I mean our be messed about like outside. Out of ten, out of ten. Trying to look normal, ah. kind of. Ah. <laughs> you see, she chased me now. She wanna chase me. She wanna chase me. So Sylvia, how was the film? Every man. They say every man. Did you find your main man? Did you? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I love it. I love the cover. Me Midweek. Midweek. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. Midweek Monday. Oops. Can't see us, can you? How about now? I don't know. Can you look at the screen. Can you see us? <laughs> I, I'm going to take that out of here. A man loves the camera. <laughs> I love the camera. I, I love it. I love it. How's it looking? Well, my room was eventful. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, See what I have to put up with. <laughs> <laughs> um, so sorry, guys. But it I, was I nice. Planned... It was us, Serene. Um, we watched a movie. Um, Where did we with go? With a wifey. Um, <laughs> um, um, I'm stammering. <laughs> I know I was. Um, I basically said I'll take you guys with me, but like. I don't know what happens. I get around Video people and they get shy. I'm people. back. <laughs> so, so um yeah, there's gonna be some videos, I guess. You took some videos, right? Mm. I hope he did. Um because I for sure did not. I for sure did not so we're gonna insert those somewhere and this is so chaotic, oh my gosh. <laughs>